We've seen uh, these far-right protests outnumbered by the counter-demonstrators. Do you think these, uh, these far-right protests have peaked now? Well, yes, the uh, anti-migrant group Merkel must vague. Merkel has to go that met on the central Hamburg Square yesterday um, yesterday evening was certainly massively outnumbered by counter-protesters, but they remain resolute. They say they're still going to continue to hold protests in Hamburg uh, one Wednesday a month until December. And there are other smaller right-wing groups around the country that plan to also hold regular pro protests. These groups are organising themselves online. They feel bolstered by the recent rallies and action that they've seen by similar groups in Chemnitz and other uh, eastern German cities. So it looks likely that these protests are going to continue over the coming weeks and months. Protests also set to continue in the coming days in Chemnitz and in Dresden. Counter-protesters will also uh, likely be seen in these cities too. Uh, what about politically? Do people feel that this has all been well handled? Well, this issue of migration and, and refugees, which is really at the centre of these protests, we're seeing being played out on the streets of Germany. But we're hearing, hearing very little at the moment from the German government. Of course, Angela Merkel and Germany's leading politicians have condemned the violence and these aggressive rallies uh, in Chemnitz. But there is a feeling that a lot more needs to be done. Angela Merkel has said that she's going to visit Chemnitz in October. She hasn't given us a date yet. For, little, this, for some, this is really too little, too late. There needs to be more to be, uh, to be done to condemn the violence and also address this central issue which is about a uh, really centers around Angela Merkel's asylum policy uh, the the rallies and the protests in Chemnitz were sparked by the murder of a German man now the, the current suspects three suspects are believed to have come from either Iraq or Syria in fact it's not entirely known because it's thought at least one of the suspects could have entered Germany with a false uh, with a false uh, pa passport. So there are lots of questions about the effectiveness of Germany's asylum policy and these are questions not only being asked by far-right uh, asylum, anti-asylum groups. So there's a lot of questions uh, are being asked of the German government at the moment and I think uh, we'll see this really play out in the next few days.